Hey guys, this is Peach Fan Media here, and today I'm going to review on the Garfield movie, the first Garfield movie on the big screen since Garfield: A Tale of Two Kitties. So the film tells a story where Garfield, voiced by Chris Pratt, is reunited with his long lost father, Mick, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, and now Garfield and Goldie are being forced into joining him on a high stakes adventure. I gotta be honest, when the trailers for the Garfield movie came out, I thought this had the potential and I was hyped for it. I'm a huge Garfield fan that grew up reading the comics, watching some shows like Garfield and Friends, and even the two movies, like Garfield the Movie and Garfield A Tale of Two Kitties with Bill Murray. This could be a fun Garfield movie to top the Bill Murray ones. I was originally planning to watch this in the movie theater only to end up procrastinating and changing my mind, so I decided to watch it on a clean camera instead, and... Oh... Looks like I won't have lasagna after this movie. So the Garfield movie was the biggest disappointment of this year so far for me. First of all, the animation is really good as it was staying true to the Jim Davis comics. I like Samuel L. Jackson's voice, who doesn't? Even the first 10 minutes was so, was pretty charming. But then we get to Garfield and Oni being kidnapped waiting to be rescued and now it's just a bland and generic father and son reunion story. It juggles all over the place with some of the atrocious pacing. I felt they kinda misunderstand some of the characters that were written so poorly. Chris Pratt is a great actor but he doesn't really work as the voice of Garfield. I never found his Garfield voice to be that hilarious, as his voice performance is literally just himself. It's like it gives me a huge appreciation to Bill Murray's Garfield voice, because despite he regretted his Garfield voice, at least he did a great job on his voice war of Garfield for sounding a lot like Lorenzo music in the live action CG hybrid Garfield movies, even if A Tale of Two Kitties was very forgettable. Also. This movie just relies too much on pop culture references that didn't land for me. But speaking of which, while most of the humor fell flat, some of the humor landed. Especially the scene where Garfield hates Mondays. Also, I couldn't care less for them, you careless either. Jinx is an extremely boring villain that I couldn't care for her motivations pretty much. Vic is fine, but his backstory was not that interesting. At best, I guess I would say it's a movie that some Garfield fans would enjoy, and it's really nice to see that Mark Dindo is back on directing movies again after Disney's Chicken Little went for him. It's kinda better than Chicken Little at the very least. But at worst, it had too much of an effort for this disappointing animated Garfield movie. It did have a potential to be that fun, but I'm sorry, this didn't feel like an actual Garfield movie. It actually felt more like a Garfield movie on autopilot. There's the second half in this movie where I described the entire Garfield movie as Mission Impossible if it sucks ass. You'll probably get what I mean by the way. So yeah, on my winning scale out of 10, I gave the Garfield movie a 4 out of 10 for bad. So thank you for watching my movie review on the Garfield movie. Let me know what you guys think of this movie in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.